All right, here we are. Another week of college basketball is just about you know, over. It's done with. I want to get this video out real quick before the Royal Rumble tonight. And if you hear some things in the background, that's not me. We're not in a quiet environment at this moment, so it's okay. It's okay. Um, here we go. So this week started off real nice. A top. 11 matchup. Top 11. That's right. Top 11 in West Virginia Texas Tech. And Miles McBride and company got the W off a big time shot at the very end of the game. I mean, that was a great game. Not going to lie to you at all. What a fantastic game. The team of the week, that's very simple. It's the Oklahoma Sooners. What a great week they had. You know, sure. My long cords were down a coach, down a couple players, but they still had the opportunity to win the game against Oklahoma. I mean, what can you say about the Sooners team? They have gotten top 20 wins, top 15, top 5 wins, top 10 wins over the past two weeks now. And they're doing it. They're doing it the way they need to be doing it. Lon Kruger has gotten his guys together and just he has just really gotten them you know off on a nice big crunch big time win against Texas on Tuesday and a bigger win against Alabama a very good Alabama team I might add on Saturday big time stuff right there as far as other teams go I'm a bit questioning of Missouri now they lost to Auburn a little bit a little bit of a head scratcher there it is Michigan State going to miss the tournament now? Because they got smacked a couple times this week as well. They're not doing very good in conference play. They have lost, what, six games now? They just lost to Ohio State. Like that game had just finished up as of the time it's recording. And, um, yeah. And I got to tell you, it's been, it's been interesting this week, you know? I mean, Baylor and Gonzaga is still winning. But then you have weird stuff like the ACC, where teams are getting upset left and right. We're talking Clemson beats Louisville on Wednesday night. Um, and then Georgia Tech beat Florida State Saturday. And then Virginia Tech beat Virginia also on Saturday. I don't know what's going on out here. I, don't, I really don't. I really don't. It's kind of rough. Did get to see, you know, Kentucky play the Longhorns this weekend because of COVID. You know, COVID didn't take the Longhorns out too bad. You know, we lost the game and then we, you know, got a game canceled this week. But how about those Kansas Jayhawks? They look kind of rough. Jalen Wilson has regressed, honestly. And the Tennessee Volunteers, they pick themselves right back up after losing, you know, some pretty tough games, and they beat Kansas up. I mean, they just beat them up. Kansas couldn't shoot the ball from three-point range. They couldn't get anything going. It just looked rough for the Jayhawks. I mean, there was so many just bad shots and just weird, bizarre things in this game to where Kansas just couldn't get anything going. I mean, it was just rough to watch. And I mean, yeah, the SEC won the Big 12 SEC Challenge, you know, 5-4, to four, but I mean, come on. It's a bit of a topsy-turvy, you know, again, Texas Tech and West Virginia delivered one of the best games this week, but then Florida came out. Uh, I, I did say that this Florida team was tricky. I did say that, you know, last week, and they got the W against West Virginia. I did say that. Meanwhile, LSU, I thought... Thought LSU would be ranked at some point, but that's not going to happen this week. That's not going to happen when we get these AP polls out on Monday. Because, I mean, they allowed a 12-point swing in which they didn't score for the last four minutes or something like that against Texas Tech. And Texas Tech beat them. Wisconsin's also a head-scratcher for me. I mean... They looked kind of rough against Penn State. Like, Penn State got beat by Ohio State earlier in the week. And then Penn State comes out, beats up on Wisconsin like that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on. 
I don't know what's going on with the, with the Badgers right now because they've been having some topsy-turvy games as well. But it looks like, you know, the same narrative is continuing to be pushed, which is Baylor, Gonzaga, and everybody else. And now there is rumors. There is some rumors that Mark Few is like, hey, we don't have a game next week. We, we don't have any games next week. So now um, who wants who wants in? Who wants us? Let's get that non-conference game in. But, uh, yeah, that, that'll pretty much do it. You know, I don't really have much else to say on any of these other games. You know, Houston continues to dominate the AAC. Uh, UCLA's still in the top 25. They're still getting W's, which is a good sign for the Pac-12. Uh, Big East is doing the being well. Big East is very top-heavy right now. You know, but there's some good teams in the Big East as well. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. See you guys after the Royal Rumble tonight.